Hey guys, so doing a little bit of an inspection on the trailer. Um, I'm gonna do some lockdown items and whatnot. And overall, I just wanna take a look at the tires, I'm gonna take a look at the, the bearings and then the brakes. I only have brakes on one axle so far. Um, again, I need to do some research into this, figure out some stuff. And there's a lot of parts on this thing that I need to replace. Um, one of the things I gotta fix is this nasty little crack as you see here. That, uh, there's a dent right here. So obviously something fell, hit the trailer, caused quite the ruckus, but this trailer haul is really nice. So my thoughts are, my overall thoughts are, to replace this beam, and then we'll see that as we get into it. Now, what else is going on here? If I can find you the hole, uh, I got doors and stuff. Uh, there it is, that's the hole. So I wanna replace all this wood and whatnot. It's not the original wood that came with the trailer, Somebody well with these pieces on because they're different than the rest of the trailer. Um, it is labeled as a home built trailer. And then I want to replace this stuff here. Um, that's not the trailer plate for this trailer. As was one I borrowed from another trailer. And again, as you can tell, this is not a stock item. Somebody added this to the trailer. So this was originally something else and somebody made it into something. But overall, it's actually a really good trailer. So we're going to work on this today a little bit. We'll see where we get to. Like it's a heavy duty trailer. Some broken spots, some stuff needs to be redone, fixed, repaired. All that nonsense, all that fun stuff. So let's get to it. So we got some good news and we got some bad news. Bad news is these don't appear to have easy hubs. I was hoping. That's where you can stick on, uh, what do you call it, a grease gun and push the grease to the back. Not really too big of a deal. It's just kind of a convenience feature. That was the bad news. The good news is bearings, oh, that doesn't sound good, but they're good, they're solid, they're not shaky. Same with here, it's not shaky, it spins really well. And we have a uh, mounting plate for the brakes. That's also really good. And these are torsion axles. So I still need to find out what the rate rating is for this trailer. I do not know what that is, but we're gonna figure that out. Um, and it's pretty rusty, that's the bad news. But as long as it casts a shadow, it can be rebuilt. I'm seeing some rust here, but it's not through, as you can see on the other side here. So that's good. So we'll start by repainting this area, the rusted areas. Everything's to be done in trim clad rouge or red. Um, what else can I tell you? Nothing else beyond that, but we will have brakes on both the axles. I still got to find out what size these axles are. Minimum will be, um, what do you call it, 3,500 pounds. So that means this trailer has a... 7,000 pound capacity minus 7,000 pounds that trailer is, so 6,000 pounds capacity minimum. Um, anyways, let's get putting new wheels on so we at least have something new on this trailer, nice and shiny, and we'll get going from there. You guys might wonder why I'm working so hard on getting the trailer all together. Well, in this messy garage lives a 1979 Trans Am that I use for stacking things on. 
the idea this year to get this thing fixed up on the road and sold. I gotta teach some friends how to uh, drive stick. Why not be a 79 four speed transmission? Hopefully they don't blow it up, but if they do, makes for another video. So that bumper is gonna be sold. Those doors are gonna be installed. I also put a boot on the trailer to help prevent people from borrowing it for an extended period of time. And so far, it looks pretty good. Got a long ways to go before she's roadworthy. Anyways, if you have any questions, comments, concerns, leave them down below and I'll get back to you as soon as I can. As always, thank you for watching. Catch you in the next one. Peace.